Welcome back everybody, it is Rudy with Timmy's Taco Stand. We are cracking some Zendikar, return to 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 return Zendikar. Zendikar? So this video is brought to you by my patron, Matthew. Matthew says, uh, give me some set cards. We're going in for the set list, we're not screwing around today. Uh, Matt, we're going to check your, uh, your hammock here, make sure everything's looking floppy. Uh, ooh, a little stiff today, okay. Uh, wait. Any damage? No damage! You know what? That's how we roll. Watch this. Right into it. Right into it. We don't waste the round on this channel. We don't bamboozle. We go right to fetch lands. Or black the cliffs from Mirrodin. That's close enough. Not a fetch land, but not going to complain. Alright. So off we go to the races here. Some interesting update on some uh, financial information as far as the cards in the set go. Uh, expected values actually upticked a little bit here in October. Very excited to say that. And that's kind of a healthier sign, making me feel a little bit better there. We got the giant Rudy Crab, and Rudy's riding his high school vehicle to class. Uh, yeah, I was really surprised. We've had a nice little uh, uptick on some of the rares, actually uh, kind of uh, strengthening instead of just tanking to bulk, which makes me feel good. We got ourselves, here we go, we got the Ooze and Foil Rare, our first one for the Chronicler. And look at this old school Sunscape Battle Mage from Plane Shift. Holy smokes. Old frame, old school, uncommon. Well, all right then. Yeah, so here we go. Mythic number one, the old Minotaur Warrior. There's still a lot of value in the Mythic slot, but we do have a couple rares that have actually uh, kind of are starting to hold their own a little bit better, which is, you know, maybe it's positive, but, you know, it's only probably positive because, you know, there's not really people doing mass box openings. All right, and off to, there we go, we got Pathway, which actually the blue Pathway, also, side note, is actually kind of upticked in price. We have a rare in the set, ladies and gentlemen, over $5, which is uh, kind of a big deal when that's the first time that's happened. We got the old Null Priest of Oblivion, little 51 shades of purple gray over here, and we got the uncommon Folk. and uh, as we kind of burn through this box so far, um, nothing too dramatic. Kind of a lackluster on the old excitement. Ooh, Mrs. Nahriyahua. Heir of the Ancients. Looking pretty spicy there on that mythic number two. And a foil common. So, yeah. Um, pretty much we're looking for some set cards. And obviously the most of the value is still in the mythic slot. We got the old apparition there. We got the foil common. And look at this, folks. Old school. Look at this. Uh, God, was that original commander? 2013 commander was that? I think that was 2013, if I remember that symbol. Very nice. The actual Primal Viger, that actually used to be a decent car. It had some value. I don't know if it's still holding any value in 2020, but that's kind of a nice little rare pull there. All right, we got ourselves Pathway Green and a Foil Rare, the creepy floating guy through your bedroom, and the list. So, I, I still stand by. I've been saying it. I still think something's got to give between collector boxes, set boxes, and draft boxes. You can't, there's too many. And I think eventually one of these products are going to, how, how should I say it, become deceased. Is that a nice way to say it, everybody? There's no way we're going to continue with this many product lines. They're gonna, there's going to have to be some consolidation, everybody. World Sculptor. We got the old ex-girlfriend from the Foil Common. And look at this. RTR action of the Guild Mage. Anybody? Old Uncommon RTR. Back in the old Prince to Oblivion. Whoa! Yeah, one of those things. Am I right? All right, let's see what we got here. Inscription of Insight. Foil Common, the Mind Drain. I dated somebody like that, and she definitely was draining the mind. So next, we're still looking for about halfway through the box. Skyclave Relic. and Ooh, Master of Wind. I think it's cool. Look at it. She looks pretty spicy. That's pretty cool looking. Wow, triple rare pack. And the third one, Foil Rare. Holy smokes. I love seeing... You know, even if they're crappy pulls, just the concept of three rares in one pack is just, it is really cool. I really like that. That's really, that, that's, that's hot sauce on the taco, ladies and gentlemen. I like that artwork too. That awakening, that big old machine there, that's pretty cool looking. And I bet the, the, the land on the back, yeah. I think that's pretty cool. I know it's not, oh, 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 oh! Holy smokes, I haven't seen this card in ages. A flipping future sight card? Wow, that brings back memories. Holy smokes. Jeez, okay. That's crazy to see that old framework in 2020. Paragon, everybody's favorite insect swarm, that ruined standard, and how Rudy looks every day when the public attacks him. Very cool. Ah, 
Well, this video is, uh, yeah, we're not getting the best financial value, but we're not doing bad. We're not doing, Matthew, we're holding our own. Luminarch, foil common, and look at this. We're getting some weird old school rares. Commander old school. Look at that. Future Sight Eternal Dominion. All the way back from Kamigawa. Holy smokes, what a cool pull, man. Very, very neato burrito, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Split Current Serpent, Crawling Barons, Foil Common, and nothing. So this is feeling like a right... We're getting some good cards from the list, but the actual Zendikar pools right now are a little on the weak side. Uh, the Mammoth that I drove to high school, the Foil Common. I have to admit, though, on the old list over here, just the fact we had two rares on the list is actually... Uh, that's pretty spicy. That doesn't happen very often, everybody. All right, the old elemental boar. Foil uncommon. Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, and how the world sees my face. Murderous red cap for the old assassin goblin uncommon. Ladies and gentlemen, fun little pull there. All right, and offward onward. Oh, I love that artwork. Isn't that cool, everybody? Look at that art. Who did that? Wiley, dude, some epic skills, man. Swarm shambler. And what is this? It's like, it's like faded. What is this little guy? What is this squid? Who wakes up in the morning and says, God, I wish I could crack some packs and I need some squids in my life. Okay. All right. That's that's kind of a cool signature. All right. That's kind of cool. I don't even know who, who did that. Uh, Dora? Holy smokes. That's a pretty cool signature. I'm not going to downplay. That's pretty spicy. Elemental boar. Foil common and nothing. All right. Last... Last couple packs in this 25-pack booster box of Zendikar set boosters. Luminarch, uncommon uh, cartoon character through the wall. And that's it for that one. See, I just, I, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some Zendikar collector box openings eventually when I can actually get some flipping collector boxes. Oh, double rare pack. Uh, I thought we were going to have a triple rare pack. But, you know, right now I don't have any Zendikar collector boxes. And, you know, eventually I do want to do one Zendikar draft box open just to feel the difference, but it's going to be a while, obviously. Coveted prize in the foil common. Very, very spiciness on the fun scale there, everybody. And here we go, our first showcase full arty fancy pathway. By the way, this blue pathway uh, is actually above $5. Foil common. That is our first rare. Not even the full art. Just the regular blue pathway is above $5. We actually have a card above $5 in the rare slot. We had double rare. Very nice. And, if, oh, foil comet. Look at that. Noble Benefactor. I love this. This is going to be me when I'm older. Like when I'm a really old guy, which I mean by next weekend. Oh, man, I love that weather. You guys know how I am with weather light. Everybody blames me. I'm the guy who, like, ruined the cheap weather light box prices. Remember that? Ooh, ooh. God, those, you know, I know they're cheesy, the gold stamp thing, but God, they do look neat. You know, oh, Scourge of the Sky Cavern, Rudy's Cave. Finally, a spicy mythic number three. I know, anyway, I love that weather light. That was a great, it was really cool to see a weather light pool today, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's not worth much, Matthew, but oh, oh, hello. Miss Nissa coming through, looking spicy. And Planeswalker, number two. Look at this, foil rare. Mauling with awesome brew pit. I love that. That's cool looking. Pretty cool. Again, not a bad box, everybody. Not a bad box at all. Oh, oh, should we talk about it? I'm filming this on the day of the infamous banning. I know, box art, the guy on the collector boxes. Mythic number five, of course, and it's a card that's already banned because I swear everything gets banned in Magic the Eagle Yoing. Look at this crap. Mammoth. Flipping Mythic Symbiosis. Very cool. Look at us pulling. Look at this. We just jumped all the way to six Mythics in the close. Well, this turned out to be a pretty strong box. And see, that's what I'm saying. These, oh my god, what is this? Rare, Foil Common, Original, Zendikar, or World I can't even remember. The Bog. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just, it's tough to really beat the feel of a set booster box. Then if you try to just go back and open, like, a regular Zendikar draft box. Like, I just don't... I don't know. I just feel like this one makes that... It's like the Double Masters VIP thing. It makes regular Masters feel, what, weaker or more boring? Because you don't get double or triple? You know what I'm saying? It, it really changes the vibe of it all. It really does. It changes how we view and how we see these products. It resets your standards. Look at this. Pack one. Boom. Mrs. N coming through for the Planeswalker. Look at that. Great. 
great flip and start. That's the way you want to start box two, ladies and gentlemen. I, I We could be on a roll here. Matthew, box two here could be a, a nasty, uh, this could be a home run. Here we go. And we got, ooh, exploration. Beautiful showcase bordering there. Foil common, and of course, a Commander Felwar Stone. Very, very iconic Commander card. Can't downplay that. Everybody loves the stone. Everybody uses the stone. Ah, the mauling with the really cool brood pit again for rare number one. And just a foil common. Yeah, you know, um, I'm happy to see some of the Zendikar prices are kind of stable now. They're firming up a little bit. Uh, two rares, got Construct, and of course, the Maddening Action and a Foil Uncommon. Um, that's a good sign, but again, I think it's only happening because people just simply aren't actually cracking and selling and doing mass box openings and singles. I don't think the secondary market is as healthy as it should be right now. Foil, oh my goodness, look at this. I think it's what, Morning Tide? The Fairy Rogue? Very cool old school fairy there. That's pretty spicy. Yeah, that's the only thing. is it's, it's nice to see a little bit of price stabilization here. But, you know, it's kind of scary on why it's happening. Look at that. The Blight Sickle. Man, that's something for Halloween. That's a cool little list card. Alright, let's finish. Let's wrap up this box, too. Let's see if we get some spice in the... Ooh, Pathway for the Fool Arts. We got the Swarm Shambler for second rare and a foil uncommon. Let's go with a second expedition. Are we actually going to see a fetch land today, ladies and gentlemen? Are we ready? Fetch land. Come on, baby. Matthew, this is for all the Chalupas and Gorditas inside your party pack. Morphic Pool. Battle Bond, kind of a partner multiplayer land. Very, uh, we've been getting a lot of those lately. Has anybody else noticed that? I feel like like most of our expedition cards in these set boxes just don't seem to be many actual, um, actual like fetch lands, even shock lands. It just seems like we're mostly getting like battle bond, battle bond lands. I almost said battle balls. <laughs> I feel like we're getting mostly battle bond lands, or we're getting just like uh, the Mirrodin, the Scars and Besiege lands. Anybody else notice that? Or maybe it's just my opinion. I don't know. Or maybe it just feels that way. Kind of tough to say. All right, folks. We are almost halfway through box two on our 26-pack booster box here. All right. Soul Shatter. A foil common. And nothing. I still prefer. I would like to see some of the rares in this actual Zendikar product be like $5 to $10 rares. Not just a bunch of bulk rares. I'd like to see a little bit more strength in the rare slot in general. I feel like that would be a little bit more... I don't know, how should I say it's stable? Oh, that Relic Vial looks so cool. Ah, the Mammoth. That, look at that nice Valley of Mammoths. Very cool. Oh! 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 Beacon of Unity. Foil Mythic. Okay. And look at that. Are you... Wait a minute. Rest in peace. Isn't this the flippin' Gideon Spellbook artwork? What? Like, wait a minute. They put cards from the WPN Spellbook product into this? Ah. Hey, Tyrant, another Mythic. Very nice. That's actually a good pool. This is this is the weirdest time to be involved in Magic the Ugly Owing. It is just flipping bizarre. Barons, another Mythic. Ameria's Call. Very cool. I love that artwork with that, like, Star Wars, Star Trek type castle stuff. Another rare and a foil common. I can't believe that. There's a Gideon Spellbook card in the list? What? Balath and a foil common? Look at this. Oh my god, was this a dual deck? What was this dragon from? I can't remember. Was it like modern event deck? A dual deck? What was it a theme? What the heck was that thing from? I remember seeing that years ago. Such weird stuff, everybody. It really is. Pathway for the number red. And relic for the foil rare. Alright. Well, there you go, folks. There you go. Alright, what do we got here? We're going into the charger foil common and nothing. It's a very strange time, everybody. I know I've been a little bit more uh, negative bearish lately in the magic world, but I, I think I need to reevaluate my perspective and stay calm and really kind of see how things continue to unfold and level out versus just being more emotional about it. I feel like I'm going to regret some of that negativity just because of the change. You know, change always leads to that kind of negativity, you know? Here we go. Double rare. And, oh, oh. Foil common. Oh, really? Zendikar and really uncommon Magic Origins card from the list. Blah. You know, but I, I, again, I still don't think the Magic products are quote-unquote bad right now. I just, the direction and the attitude of, of Wizards is just making it 
really tough to be supportive of the actual players, collectors, investors, stores, and distributors. They just, they really make it, they make it difficult. They really do. Oh, oh, every time I see that old framework, Urza's Destiny fodder can. Every time I see that old stuff like that, I have my heart skips a beat like, oh my God, we got an Urza's card. What are we going to get every time? But you know, yeah, I always forget, you know, wait a minute, everything good in that is going to be reserved list. Fury of the Minotaur Warrior for another Mythic in a foil. And look at the Mythic pulls. Wow. That is phenomenal Mythic pulls. Definitely a solid box opening today, even with the lower values. Here we go. Two double rare pack in a foil common. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're only down to the last couple packs here. And uh, just what a, what a cool, fun thing. Serpent in a foil common. Oh, baby. Angel's Grace. Time Spiral Rare. Holy smokes. Absolutely cool. Okay. Very, very spicy there. Ooh, Pathway for the Green Foil Rare for the Seagate. I swear, in, the, in these box openings, I swear we end up with so many extra rares and mythics. I feel like we don't really understand and appreciate nearly as much as it should be. Because most of these packs, we're getting a minimum of two. Some packs are actually three. Rares and Mythics per pack. We're, the pools are phenomenal. Forsaken Monument. For, great. Great Mythic. We got the old Jace on his day off for the rare and a foil common. Alright folks, we are wrapping it up here. Last three packs of the day, ladies and germs. Into the close here, we're looking at, look at this. Ins, inspiration, or no, I'm sorry, Inscription in a Foil Pathway. Red and green. Very cool. Alright. Here we go. Wrapping it up here. And... For the close, eh, Iona, eh, foil common. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate the kindness and support. Matthew, enjoy all the fancy schmancy stuff. Cards heading your way. Hey, last pack ending on a smashing. I love that artwork for that hammer pass. Very cool mythic flip card there. Other than that, final thoughts, everyone, today is, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to not be overly bullish and too negative because I feel like I'm, every time I'm negative in Magic, I always reflect on it a year or two later and I regret it. And I feel like I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm still trying to absorb and kind of evolve and understand everything that's going on. And I think over the next 6 to 12 months into 2021, we're going to get a really good feel for it. But we're still in that transition period. So just keep that in mind, everybody. Remember, things are never as bad as they seem no matter what. But they're never as good. And remember, 90% of all your fears and frustrations never actually come true. Have a great day, everybody.